Welcome everybody. We are here to open this collector booster box of the newest set for Magic the Gathering, Wilds of Eldraine. I'm opening this kind of in the middle of spoiler season, so I know what some of the cards are, but not all of them. So let's open it up, take a look. And here we go with pack number one. Starting things off with a food token on one side and on the back side is a rat. Horned Lock Whale. We've got the alternate art treatment there. Looks good. Leyline of the Void. All right. This is a rare from the Enchanting Tales bonus sheet that is included here. I'm sure we'll see a number of these in here that we'll see play likely. Virtue of Persistence. This is one of the new enchantments. Oh, that's really good. Alila, Cunning Conqueror. So that is one of the legendary creatures in the Wilds of Eldraine commander box that you see back there. As you can see, we've got the extended art treatment. Tangled Colony. We're going to see a lot of rats in this set. There is definitely some rat tribal stuff going on. Griffin Airy. We've got the extended art and in foil. That looks really good. Good and lots of life gain decks. Ground Seal. Uh, I'm not thrilled about this. This card looks better on paper than it actually is in practice, but art looks good. Ooh, mountain and a foil one at that. I'm loving these new lands. Obira, Dreaming Duelist. Another card that you can get in the fairy deck back there, but this one's foil. Up the Beanstalk. Good for big creatures, like it. Lord Skitter's Butcher. So we're going to be seeing a lot of cards referencing Lord Skitter, even Lord Skitter himself, themselves in this set. Savior of the Sleeping. Got some more knights. That's going to be great for Night Tribal. Hopeless Nightmare. Prophetic Prism. Always love this card. Prophetic Prism is just generally great. And the final card, Return Triumphant. And here we go with pack number two. Here we go. Food Token. Well, <laughs> that's quite uh, an aggressive looking piece of food there. And a Treasure Token on the other side. Nice. First card up. Foil of Virtue of Loyalty. Oh, these new enchantments are absolutely amazing. With the adventures attached to them, they're going to see play. Parallel Lives. Nice. Oh, this card was getting up there, too, and you really need these for token decks. Gorgeous. Cruel Somnophage. I think this card is going to fit into the fairy decks, actually, even though it's not a fairy. It's got some nice milling potential there. Lady of Laughter. Some nice card draw within the fairy tribal. Devouring Sugar Maw. Oh, I love the food in this set so much. That's just amazing. Compulsion, the Enchanting Tales version and in foil. Looks pretty good. Vampiric Rites. Swamp. Ah, oh, yes. Look at this. I love these. I am going to be playing with these. Belligerent of the Ball. Ice Rot Sentry. Always love seeing the ice-themed cards in foil. Looks good. Gingerbread Hunter. Ooh. That's uh, a bit morbid, if you know what that's referencing. Rat out. Better out than in, I always say. Gnawing Crescendo. Torch the Tower. This is a great card. Not better than Lightning Bolt, because it only deals damage to creatures and planeswalkers, but still, I think this is going to see some serious standard play. And finally, Bellowing Bruiser. Pack number three. Here we go. All right. Starting off with another food token, and the back side is a knight. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. Blind Obedience. Yes, amazing commander staple. I will be putting this, like, immediately into uh, some of my decks. Goblin Bombardment. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at that art. That is adorable. If you're going to be flinging goblins, I mean, they should at least be happy about it. Horned Lock Whale. All right, another one of those. Fairy Blade Crafter. That is in the deck back there but this is the extended art. Sir Ginger, yes, I was hoping to get a Sir Ginger. The meal ender. If you haven't seen the trailer for the first Throne of Eldraine expansion, go watch that, you'll know who this is. Vampiric Rites, looks a lot better in foil. Dragon Mantle, Island, yes. It's going right into one of my decks, probably DK. Frolicking Familiar. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that we've got otters and they're useful otters. It's not like Lutri that was like emergency band. Sir Armont, the Redeemer. This is great. I am definitely putting together an, a new Auras deck based on the rolls. Boundary Lands Ranger. Ice Out. Again, love seeing kind of the ice themed cards and foil. Ventress Transmuter. Grabby Giant. Screen Puff. 
I love seeing purple in foil, especially like, like greens and purples. Just love it. They pop. Really quick, if you're enjoying this video, please click on my official MTG Ambassador link in the description. It's going to let them know that you enjoy these early looks and that you want to see even more. Thanks a lot. Pack number four. Here we go. Another food token. No shortage of food this time. And a rat. Starting things off with a Bramble Familiar. An elemental raccoon? Oh, that's awesome. Look at the, look at him. He's so happy. You have to play with this. Ley Line of Abundance. Doesn't see a whole lot of play, but good for, you know, maybe some elf ball mana dork decks. Talion the Kindly Lord, yes. Oh, I can't wait to play with this at the commander table and see how this performs. And it's the full art. Gilwain, casting director. I believe that is in the other commander deck over there. This is the extended art version. Charming Scoundrel. Impact Tremors. Classic. Great art. Love it in foil. Hatching Plans. The Forest. Two-Headed Hunter. Embrith Veteran. Twisted Sewer Witch. Oof. She is up to no good. Frostbridge Guard. Barrow Naughty. Armory Mice. And Merry Bards. Pack number five. We are trucking right along. Food again. I, I swear, all these packs are going to start with food. And the beast. Oh, that's the new beast token. I love this new beast token. It's going to replace my other beast tokens that I use. All right. Virtue of Strength. Mythic. Nice start to the pack. Polluted Bonds. Oh, this is the anime Borderless. The Enchanting Tales cards. That looks nice. Restless Bivouac. I actually looked up how to pronounce that, so I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce that, is Bivouac. Kind of expensive to, to activate that land. I'm not sure if that's going to see play or not. Gothic, Cloaked Reveler. Always nice to see creatures with haste. Agatha's Soul Cauldron. Ugh. The foiling on this looks okay. I kind of wish it would have been maybe just foiled on like the the steam kind of coming up out of there. Foiling the background as well kind of makes it just blend in together. So it, it looks okay in foil, but not fantastic. Hatching plans. Spreading seas. Swamp. Oh, I love this. Ashiok's Reaper. Succumb to the Cold, Dutiful Griffin, Moment of Valor, Stingblade Assassin, Unruly Catapult, and Freeze in Place. Pack number six. And here we go. Food, of course. Food. Should have called my shot beforehand. Food. And, oh, an elemental this time. Nice. Like an icy elemental. Hardened Scales. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Great for almost a necessity for plus one, plus one counters decks. Blind Obedience, another Blind Obedience, this one in non-foil. Decadent Dragon, because that's what the game needed, right? More dragons that make treasure tokens. <laughs> Apparently we needed more. The End. Um, you know what? This card's okay. Uh, I would think for a card that's as definitive as The End, it'd be a bit more powerful, but it's all right. Beseech the Mirror, Yes. Yes, I wanted one of these, and in foil, no less. Ah, oh, awesome. A must for any mono black deck. You can probably play with even two or three colors. This is great. Curiosity. This is a nice combo with Niv-Mizzet. If you haven't seen that combo, look it up. Dark Tutelage. Great to see this card having more accessibility, because I think it's uh, pretty good. Planes. I love planes that have some nice contrasting colors, so you can see, like, the reds in there. Glass Casket, Agatha's Champion, Stone Splitter Bolt, Water Wings, Charmed Clothier, or is it, or is it Clothier? 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 Whatever. Mintstrosity! <laughs> it's candy canes. It's amazing. And Bestial Bloodline. We are trucking along with pack number seven. And here we go. Food token, of course. <laughs> and the back being a rat. All right, we've got Sir Ginger. Uh, we did get a foil version of this already, but this one is the extended art version. So not technically a duplicate, but you know, however you want to describe it, you can. Oppression, good card. Whenever a player casts a spell, the player discards a card. Yeah, that's that's pretty oppressive, <laughs> I would say. Yes, Ashiok, Wicked Manipulator. This is the alt art, Borderless. The only Planeswalker in the set. I'm loving that alt art. 
Red Cap Gutter Dweller, extended art version. Another Godric Cloaked Reveler, this one foil. Raid Bombardment, awesome artwork there. Knightly Valor, another Plains. Imodane's Recruiter, Galvanic Giant. Troyan Gutsy Explorer, I almost said Gusty, it's Gutsy. <laughs> Witch's Mark, Curse of the Were Fox, Ariette's Whisper, and Cooped Up. Only four more packs to go. Oof, getting exciting. Food, of course. We always have to start with food. And a rat. Imodane, the Pyro Hammer. Defense of the Heart, nice. I did not have a Defense of the Heart before, so this will be great to have, and it's the uh, anime version. Restless Cottage, I mean, look, amazing artwork, right? Any of the food that's coming to life in this set just is amazing. Blossoming Tortoise, look at that turtle. He's such a happy guy. Sentinel of Lost Lore. Dark Tutelage in Foil. Now this one pops even more. The, the, I like the foiling on this. I think they foiled the right areas on this card. Griffin Airy, another Griffin Airy. Another island, yes. I want islands and swaps, please. The Demir colors are what I want out of that. Threadbind Click. Edgewall in. Uh, this one, I don't know if the camera does this one justice, but it looks great in foil. I like this one. Storm Killed Vanguard. Fell Horseman. Ferocious Werefox. Verocious Vermin. Ferocious and Verocious, okay. And Plunge into Winter. All right, I think I miscounted before. There are four packs left. The last one, there was there was five left. There's only four left. Now we're at four. I'm getting so excited that uh, counting is hard. Okay. Food! Hey! <laughs> Hello! And a mouse this time. Okay, no rat this time. I think that's our first foil mouse. Polluted bonds. Wow, th this box really wants for us to have polluted bonds and to deal <laughs> lots of damage to our opponents for playing lands. Gorgeous art, though. Fiery Emancipation. Well, what's better than dealing double damage? Why triple damage, of course. Restless Vine Stalk. Again, with these cards, like, what, it costs three green-blue to activate? I mean, I guess it's decent if you've got nothing else to do, but gosh, that's a lot. Court of Ardenvale. The Apprentice's Folly. Um... You know, I've seen this, I saw this card and I'm like, I don't know if this is any good or not. Um, you guys let me know what you think of this card. I'm, mm, I'm torn. Garouk's Uprising. Fantastic. You can never have too many copies of this for your green decks. Compulsion, non-foil version. Swamp, Twisted Fealty. Stroke of Midnight. Woodland Acolyte. Unassuming Sage. Frantic Firebolt. Always like seeing when they get the foiling right on fire cards. Sleight of hand and rhyme for reindeer. Of course, we had to have reindeer in a storybook type set. We're getting down to it. The final three. Food, of course, <laughs> of course. And another night. Rankle's prank. So it's basically, you know, it does the things that Rankle likes to do. Shared Animosity. It's a good reprint. It's getting up there, I think. Elusive Otter. Oh, gosh, I just love... I, I, you've got to use the otters, right? Like, you, you just have to. Regal Bunny Corn. Werefox Bodyguard. Oh, interesting. Is, that, is this the first Werefox that we've had? Someone let me know in the comments. Is this the first Werefox Grasp of Fate? Oh, look at that. Just gorgeous artwork. Like, they've really outdone themselves this time. Another Garrick's Uprising. Again, as I mentioned, can't have too many copies of this. A Mountain. Tattered Ratter. Neva, Stalked by Nightmares. Wow, this is so creepy. The atmosphere on this is just top-notch. Picnic Ruiner. Slumbering Keep Guard. Archon's Glory. Mocking Sprite. And Flick a Coin. Two packs left. The penultimate pack. Food, of course, and rat. Starting off with Sleep Cursed Fairy. <sighs> I saw this before. I'm not getting this card. Like, does somebody else get this one? Like, why would you want to play with this? I I'm really not sure. It seems so slow. Bitter Blossom, yes. <laughs> and look at the art, it's so adorable. Look at the little fairy just all cozied up in there. Oh, Scalding Viper. 
just kind of a generally good is it card. I think it could go into a lot of decks. Court of Loch Twain. Archon of the Wild Rose. Utopia Sprawl. This is going to be the ubiquitous Utopia Sprawl now, right? Like, if you're playing Utopia Sprawl in your deck, like, you're getting this one. Look at it. Oh, yeah, another Utopia Sprawl. The non so let me ask uh, in the comments, what do you like more? Do you like the foil or do you like the non-foil? Which, which version are you going to play with? Island, fantastic. I love that we're rolling down the road on that. Totenzons, Swarm Piper. It's more of that rat tribal. Gadwick's first duel. I like this saga. Seems pretty good, especially for just two, for one in blue. Yeah, seems pretty good. Collector's Vault. Ginger Brute. Everyone loves Ginger Brute. Into the Fey Court. Hamlet Glutton. And Snare Master Sprite. And here we go. It's the last pack. Starting off with food. Ooh, the Nightmare Token. Oh, yeah, this goes with uh, the Ashiok, I believe. Yeah, look at that. Uh, copy Enchantment. Nice. The art in this is just like so thematic to the set too. Oh, amazing. Another Polluted Bonds. Okay. Uh, I think we can be done with these. <laughs> I think I've got enough copies of Polluted Bonds at this point. Another Bramble Familiar. Uh, this one is the one without foil. Talion's Messenger. You need this for your fairy decks. Like, you probably need four copies of this, to be quite honest. Fawn's Bane Troll. It's a Bane to Fawn's? Oh, it probably eats him, right? <laughs> That's probably what's going on there. Okay. Season of Growth. You know, I've never played with this card before, but maybe I'll give it a try now that I've got a copy. Yeah, I'll give it a try in one of my Creatures Matters decks. Stab Wound. Oh, no, not the donut. Forest. Beautiful. Chancellor of Tales. Howling Gale Fang. Corvold and the Noble Thief. Rowan's Grim Search. Aquatic Alchemist. Brave the Wilds. And Titanic Growth. So what do you think of the pulls out of this box? What do you think were some of the best cards that we got out of here? Let me know in the comments below.